to the BBC News at six. Private letters between Tony Blair and George W. Bush, written in the run-up to the Iraq war, will not be published in full. The chairman of the Iraq inquiry, Sir John Chilcott, has said that only quotes or suggestions of the note's contents will be made public. The inquiry completed its public hearings in 2011, and today's announcement comes amid mounting criticism of the delay in releasing the report. Here's our political editor, Nick Robinson. His report contains some flash photography. For many, it's the war that never really ended. A war that cost so many lives. Some say 100,000. Others, many times that figure. And still, there is no official version of the events which led to Britain and America invading Iraq. Key to that is exactly what was said by Tony Blair to George W. Bush. What had the British Prime Minister promised the then American President? An inquiry chaired by Sir John Chilcott was established a staggering 58 months ago to find the full story. It was there that Tony Blair came to give his account of his actions and was asked to spell out exactly what he told George Bush in more than 130 private conversations and 25 private notes. He said we would stand shoulder to shoulder with them. We did in Afghanistan, and I was determined to do that again. The last public hearing was more than three years ago. Today, we learnt of the deal done to unblock it. In a letter to Britain's top civil servant, the inquiry's chairman says he's agreed to publish only quotes or gists, not, in other words, full documents. These, he went on, should not reflect President Bush's views, and direct quotation from the documents should be the minimum necessary. The mother of one of the 179 British soldiers who died in the conflict is disappointed by this outcome. That we have the family benefits that are quite cheap because the thing is, the range of most folks thing what's in them. To let us understand why we really did go into Iraq. We were still told that we were just waiting for mass destruction and the correspondence between Blair and Bush. So we have not seen what's in that correspondence in those letters that put doubts in their mind. It is more than 10 years since the invasion of Iraq. Tony Blair has always insisted that his dramatic and bloody story contains no secrets and that he wants the inquiry out as soon as possible. We should be able to read it later this year. And Nick is with me. Was there really ever any chance Nick, that we would have seen everything that was contained in those men's conversations? Well, the Iraq inquiry certainly wanted that. They were blocked by Britain's top civil servant at the time, a man called Sir Gus O'Donnell, and they expressed in public their frustration that they couldn't do this. And this is the result of a bargain that's been going on behind the scenes to publish as much as they think they can. What's been the problem? Now, suspicious people say, ah, it's all Tony Blair's fault. He's been trying to block it. He has insisted that he's blocked nothing. He wasn't asked. It's not up to him. He wanted this out as soon as possible. What's at issue is two things the privacy of conversations that take place in government and, crucially, the relationship between a British Prime Minister and an American President. The White House certainly didn't want a British inquiry, remember, a British inquiry, to reveal what their President said or wrote privately. Hence that line about, don't reflect President Bush's views. There was also an anxiety that future Prime Ministers might make secret calls if they thought that one day these private conversations would be published. So that's why we get this phrase about publishing a gist, publishing quotes, not the full document. Now, of course, some people will never be satisfied. Some people will say hidden in there will be things that we should know. But the inquiry says they've seen the full documents. They wanted the uh, public to see as much evidence as they could. This is the best deal they could get. Nick, thank you. Nick Robinson.